So for this video, we will be checking out the Vita Mac spoofer. So basically what this does is a plugin that spoofs your Mac address in the system information. So here is a screenshot of what it's like. And um, basically, if you have your Mac address displayed, maybe you take pictures of it, maybe you make your own YouTube videos and you show the Mac address like me, instead of having to blow it out every time, you can use this plugin to completely change it to whatever you want. It also looks cool, so you can put in some custom symbols or something like that. And it's a very nice plugin because it actually adds it into the settings and we can check out the settings and we can change it very easily. So let's just read it here. This was more of a fun project for me as hiding one's MAC address doesn't make much sense anymore but it was quite popular in the PSP days. This will not change your actual MAC address and doesn't spoof it system wide or in your network obviously. So all it does is just kind of hides it like with text, doesn't actually spoof it properly. Um, here's the installation and yeah, it's pretty simple. So I guess I'll do this. I'm always showing um, this page in videos so you can see my software version. And if I can hide the MAC address, that would be pretty cool. So I'm gonna go and install this. Now there's actually two ways of getting this. You can either install it with the latest version of auto plugin, as you can see, Mac spoofer was added or you can install it um, with the release. So there's actually a release here, you can install it manually. If we use auto plugin, we can install it in seconds. So that is what I'm gonna use. If you don't have auto plugin, make sure to grab the VPK. But I'm going to go back onto my PS Vita. I will show you guys how to install it and let's get this set up. Okay guys, so once we're over on our PS Vita, the first thing you want to do is just go ahead and open up auto plugin. We can use auto plugin to install the MAC address um, spoofing plugin in seconds. So what we're going to do, we're going to go on plugins for Vita, we're going to go on install plugins, and we're going to scroll all the way down. Now it's V for Vita, so we just need to scroll down all the way until we get to the V section, so quite lie down, and now it should be here, it's this one, Vita Mac Spoofer. So what we're going to do, you're going to select your UXO or your URO, wherever your type folder is, and we're just going to press X to install it. It's going to say, please wait, has been installed. And what we can actually do is just press start to exit. It's then going to say your PS Vita will restart. Press X for OK. All right, guys. So once your PS Vita restarts, the first thing you want to do is just make sure HN Core is actually running. So I'm just going to start this up. Obviously, if you have permanent custom firmware, you won't have to do this every time. But I don't. So I'm just going to exit and then it will actually be running. So what we can do from here, we can scroll up and we can press X to open up the system settings. So in the system settings, what you want to do is go to Henkaku settings. You want to scroll all the way down and we're looking for the reload taihenconfig.txt. Just press X on this. It's going to say it has been reloaded. Press X for OK. And now we can just go back. Now the MAC address um, spoofing should actually be running already. But we want to scroll down. We want to look for security right here. And you just want to tap on this. And then we're going to find it in here. As you can see, it says MAC address spoof. So what we can do, we can break press X on this one and it's actually going to go into the Mac address spoofing settings so this should be ticked on default but if you want them not spoofed you can untick it tick it if you want it spoofed there is style format so this is like um, how the Mac address will appear we can have it like this and we can also tick use custom text and if you're going to enter custom text you can enter anything you want to so you can enter symbols you can like maybe design something you can enter question marks you can literally put whatever you want to in here so shall I just make something random for example uh, maybe if I just put like a load of question marks or something random in I don't know and then I'll show you guys that it actually works so there you go something custom we can just tap on the green arrow then just tap on back then just go on circle which is back again back again and now if we're going to system system information you guys can see that my mac address is now spoofed and i'm on 3.68 so there you go so that's pretty much it for this video that is how you spoof your mac address so nobody can see what it is if you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and i will see you guys in the next one